I be that pretty motherfucker Harlem's what I'm rapping Tell my niggas quit the bitch And we gon' make it in a second Never disrespect it Plus I'm well connected With this coke that I imported Just important as your president Swagger so impressive And I don't need a necklace But these bitches are so impressive <laughs> This is gonna be so fucking awkward ass podcast <laughs> Oh, there he is. No, this, oh my God. this is good to talk, man. Finally. 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 So, he's a rapper, fashion icon, entrepreneur. Yeah. Let's get into his background before we get more of his, uh, uh, his business side of his Rocky. So, uh, Justin did his research, so... Um, yep. So, he actually just turned 29 on October 3rd. And he got his name from his father, who actually got inspiration from like this rap group called Eric B. and Rakeem. Rockham Mayers? Rakeem Mayers? Rakeem Mayers. He actually grew up in the Bronx in New York. And he lived in and out of homeless shelters with his mom and his sister. Yeah, so that was actually when his dad got locked up, right? Because his dad was a rapper. Yeah, well, his no, his his dad was. I don't think his dad was a rapper. His, his brother more of rap. He did more of the rapping. His dad was like more into like he sold a lot of drugs. Pretty much how he got his money, selling drugs. Yeah, to buy clothes. Yeah, or whatever he wanted to spend. Yeah, when you live in that situation, you're in like you know, you become a product of your own environment. Yeah, he said he he lived in like the Bronx and um, something else. I forgot what it was, but that's why. Well, I mean, to get out of the drug game, he moved to Jersey, mm, where Jersey. then he, uh, mm. he also, like, he moved to Jersey specifically, specifically to get out the drug game and to get his GED oh, to focus more on music. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought he just, uh, thought he just had, like, a high school education. Yeah, me too. You want to learn life for the dope game, oh. you know? <laughs> Some guys do it just to get themselves out of a situation because they don't know anything else. Mm -hmm. You know, trying to make a difference, mm -hmm. um, which is what he's doing right now. Yeah. And, uh, you know, some of the things that he's venturing out is it's not more about making money, it's more about helping out the kids that, yeah. that are mm -hmm. in that situation. Like giving back. Yeah. Giving back. Yeah, yeah. definitely giving back. Well, yeah, he, he definitely has, what was it? He has two charities, I believe. He has yeah. the um, ASAP Foundation. Yeah, ASAP Foundation, which uh, donates charities to uh, Drug addicts, drugs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> drugs. <laughs> drugs. <laughs> yeah, having his father actually sell drugs, and now he has enough money to fund these organizations that are helping to, you know, drug addicts. That's yeah. really good. There's another the one was the um, uh, one for orphans. I yeah. forgot which one that one was called, but yeah, he donates to them as well. Um, just because I think he came from that situation, you know, yeah. shelter to shelter, homeless, um, oh, yeah. whole part of it. So, um, any way, form, shape, or form, you can give back. You know, mm -hmm. ethically, I think that's great. You yeah, know, you're doing you're doing out of it just because out of, from your heart, mm -hmm. not because there are some financial repercussions or mm -hmm. financial advantages behind it. Mm -hmm. and the fact that he has done good things with his money, you know, but. People can perceive that he's still a street, he's still a hood, he's yeah. still this because his music says so, you mm -hmm. know. But you know, there's more it's good and bad. There's there's more into the, the bad than, than, than there's more into the good than the bad that he's doing. Yeah. That time you went out with uh, Kendall Jenner. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, are they really going out, or like, is it is are they, is it a legend? Really? Sure, it was hella short that it was yeah. out there. Yeah. So much. I think they just put that out there just to just put cause, it out yeah. there. Yeah, I know. Cause I, I, I think it's just because one, I mean, obviously he made a song about her too with the, uh, I think um, that Fashion Killer song. Oh, oh yeah. But well, that was like, like that was before. Yeah, but uh, him being in fashion and Kendall being in that industry, that's something they were like, mm. probably. Yeah, I mean, he did. He did. 
date Iggy Azalea. Yeah. Iggy, oh, yeah. Iggy started out in fashion just because yeah. she was tall, blonde, white. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. But that's also his, I think, more of what his focus now is mm-hmm. his venture now and, and his fashion. Yeah. Um, Definitely fashion. Tell me a little bit about their sales, though. Um, ASAP, uh, Rocky's clothing line. I mean, is it really hitting in the market right now? No. You know what? His clothing line with collaboration with Guess is really hitting the market. Yeah, it is. Huh? Are. Yeah, you see on, on like... So he has a whole bunch of collabs. That's yeah, what he has, exactly. more than anything. Yeah, with Guess, too. Yeah, yeah, Guess is the biggest one right now. And uh, you see them on, like, restocks. Yeah. Uh, like, restock sales going for, like, 180 for a t-shirt. And, like, They're selling for high price in the like, after market. Yeah. Well, all I know is that he's basically just, like you guys said earlier, he um, he puts himself out there, he markets himself, basically, and I don't fashion. know. Yeah, fashion. Yeah, fashion, too. Um, he's been working in um, entertainment. Yeah, entertainment. Yeah. Drones, yeah. though, nigga. That's some gangsta shit. I need one of them motherfuckers. Ah, yeah. <laughs> that shit ain't funny. It's fucked up if you really think about it. How, nigga? He killing all them Arcadas and shit? Nigga, that ain't all that gets killed. And the nigga saying he could drone strike Americans too. They killed an American working with them niggas in Yemen. Man, he was a terrorist, dog. So, yeah. obviously he just signed with Under Armour. Oh, yeah, you talked yeah. about that. Uh, just recently signed with Under Armour. It's a uh, strategic partnership. Um, I know he signed with Guess as well, so mm. I'm not sure exactly what he can wear or how he can market yeah vice versa for each you know for each company and, and you know both the tycoon and the industry mm-hmm. um but under armor's perspective is that they want to attract more into the younger generation i mean he's a hit he, he's definitely a very very marketable guy yeah um you know uh, he does a good job of doing it by himself mm-hmm. you know but i think at some point you know he has to just kind of pick and choose between which one um, yeah. yeah. Um, do you want to be the main cash cow? Mm-hmm. Do you want to be the main face of the franchise or, or the company? Or do you want to be behind the scenes, calling shots, making sure everything goes well? What are things that can hold him back? He has an affinity. Yeah. I think that's pointed mildly towards yeah. women. I mean, obviously, he's been around beautiful and successful women, mm-hmm. um, but also that can be the Achilles heel mm-hmm. of somebody. You know, everyone has that weakness. Um, but from the CEO standpoint, I think um, you have to be more uh, conservative, a uh, very conservative route, um, just because. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's you know from. People from, will be watching that stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, and it goes back. It goes back to it goes back to ethics. You know, you have the CEO. It's it's a obviously top position, mm-hmm. right? You set the tone. Um, but at you as a CEO out there partying all night, what mm-hmm. makes you think as a investor, mm-hmm. you know, what makes you think that I'm putting my money financially and you're making it grow and I'm seeing you out here Parties. You're yeah. partying and being out with women? Yeah. What makes you think you're not spending my money? Yeah. You know, so it's just generally the industry is on is he's not cash out he just because he's out there. Then didn't he already yeah. with the um then he got accused of uh, slapping the shit out yeah. of somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know, it ended up just being sold out of it because the, the person accusing showed up for court. Yeah. yeah. Guy, uh, if you don't show up for court, the case will get dropped. Yeah, the case will get dropped. Um, Yeah. 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 Yeah.